Welcome to part two of this Football Manager 2018 series where I'm managing Uruguay at the World Cup but with a huge twist because we have a team of Cavani's. 20 Cavani's plus the three goalkeepers. We're, we're going to try and go all the way in the World Cup and win it with a, an army of cloned Cavani's. Quite a scary thought. If you missed part one, Please go and check that out first. We, t we played my two friendlies. I'm going to spoil those results for you now. So go and watch part one if you haven't done so already. We beat Croatia 4-2 with a team of Cavani's and we drew 3-3 against Iceland. Predictably, we're conceding goals. But predictably, we're scoring goals. And at the end of the day, football's all about scoring more goals than the opposition. It doesn't matter if we concede five as long as we score six. I think we should be able to get out of the group. I'm going to play my three group games today in part two. We've got Egypt first, then Russia, and then Saudi Arabia. We are the favourites despite having a team of Cavani's. Of course, we're going to have to watch out for Salah, the danger man. And Egypt, they've got a decent squad. They obviously underperformed at the World Cup. Pretty poor stuff from them. But on paper, they do have some good players, according to Football Manager. This is the team I'm going with. No surprises. Ten Cavani's involved, <laughs> plus Mislera in goal. I've made a few little changes. Like number three is playing up front now alongside the original Cavani and uh, Cavani number 11 back from injury. Let's get on with this first match against Egypt then. Predictions, how far can I go with a team of Cavani's? It's all about outscoring the opposition. All oh, Salah up front, they're playing a 4-4-2 against my 4-3-3. All the best out there tonight, have fun, let's go for that. It's all about having fun, that was, that was the theme of part one, having fun. That's what you want to do. At the end of the day, football manages a game. you got to enjoy it, otherwise there's no point. Same with football. It's all about entertaining the fans. If you know, I don't see the point of boring football because the whole point of football is to entertain. It's an entertainment business. So we're going to score goals. It doesn't matter that we'll probably concede three in every game because we're going to score four as we almost open the scoring three number three. Remember, Cavani's got 18 on heading, so he's going to be dangerous from corners in particular, surely. Number 14 comes in and that's another very good save by their goalkeeper. Wow, two clear-cut chances to us and their keeper has done brilliantly and that one's just uh, easily caught. But it's all Uruguay at the moment, it's all Team Cavani at the moment. Can we open the score in here in the 19th minute? Here's Cavani number three, <sighs> not great control, and but good header away. And number eight now on the ball, look at that, great skill, finds the original Cavani. Oh, what an effort off the crossbar. We are somehow still nil-nil here, I don't know how. We've been pretty unlucky. I'm going to encourage them. Here come Egypt. Maybe their first opportunity. Be typical if they score from their first chance, won't it? That's partially cleared. Here's El, El Mohamedi. Good tackle. Cavani, number five. Excellent stuff from him there. But it's knocked back into the danger area. It's headed away. But El Neni, El Mohamedi. This is nice play from Egypt. Keeping possession. Trying to take advantage of perhaps my lack of defensive ability. Here's the original Cavani. <sighs> Not a great pass. Not a great pass. Salah. Uh-oh. This looks dangerous. We've cleared it, though. Maybe we can counter this time. Number three. With the pace. Into the original Cavani. Looks up. Tackled. This is a strange highlight, isn't it? End to end. Salah's through. Mo Salah. Good save by Basalera. They've had one clear-cut chance. Salah couldn't take it. Here he is again, though. Cuts in and fires it wide. I'm going to regret missing those opportunities, I think. I mean, we were so clinical against Croatia and Iceland, and today, on the big stage, the World Cup kind of bottled it in front of goal. I mean, their keeper's pulled us some great saves, but for some reason, his rating's only a 6.8. Goalkeeper rating's on Football Manager. It's a nuisance. It doesn't work. It's a small child screaming outside. Cut number five at left back's having a cracking game. 100% tackles one. I'm going to say... Time for everyone to dig in. Let's go for that. Ah, that's worked wonders. Do we make any changes? Do I, do I bring off Cavani number 15 who's on a yellow? I think I will. We're going to we're gonna save him. On comes number six. I mean, you you wouldn't have thought... After part one, you wouldn't have thought it'd be nil-nil at half-time, would you? So many goals against Croatia and Iceland at both ends of the pitch. And for whatever reason, it's still nil-nil here. But perhaps this will be an opportunity. Original Cavani plays it into 11. He looks for number five. He's had a cracking game at left back. Considering that's probably the position he'd be worst at. That's quite inspiring, really. Here's number two. He's did very well in the friendlies. Into ten. Ten finds eight. Who's your favourite Cavani so far, lads? <laughs> for me, it's got to be number two. He's been brutal. I mean, the original Cavani, of course, for his goal-scoring record in the, in the friendlies. But 
Number two, I've really enjoyed down that right-hand side. Here's number number ten, six. Lovely play from... Look at this passing movement. It's excellent. Ah. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Here's Salah and Hassan. Great. What a crunching tackle. But Salah's through and he's made it 1-0 to Egypt. I need more. I need more from you guys. Perhaps the World Cup's one step too far. We've beaten Croatia. We've drawn against Iceland, but... Now it's, you know, competitive football. Look at that tackle from number four, though. It's crunching. It's unfortunate it fell to Trezeguet, who found Salah, who finished. And now we're going to have to push forwards. And, and, and uh, Maybe I need to go for more direct football. Let's go with that. Let's try something a bit different. Half an hour to go. We've got players looking frustrated all over the place. The original Cavani's having a poor game today after exceptional friendlies. Number 11's quite tight. I'm going to bring him off for number 13. It's not happening for us today, is it? I'm going to have to bring the original off. He's let me down. Let's bring on number nine. Oh dear, oh dear, as the Chuckle Brothers would say. It's uh, it's not great. I was really positive heading into this after part one, but I I mean, this is the last thing I expected. I thought we would be good at scoring goals. I mean, all the evidence from part one suggested we'd be good at scoring goals, but it's just not happened today. We're going to pump it into the box. We, do, we have to. I don't think we have any option. I'm going to go overload as well. Uh, and I've made all the subs, so we'll leave it on attacking fluid. Five minutes to go, four minutes to go, three, two minutes, to, one minute, four minutes of it. No highlights. Perhaps we'll have one. No. Tackle. Oh, free kick. Ah, second yellow. It doesn't even matter. It's a minute to go. Egypt have done a job on me. We've had 20 shots. We had a couple clear-cut chances at the start of the game, but it's been poor, hasn't it? It's been really poor since then, and we're, we're going to have to be better against Russia and Saudi Arabia to get out of this group now. The main man, Salah, has uh, killed me off. Egypt and Russia on three points going into the second game of the group. Here we go then. Second match of the group. We are the favourites heading into this game against Russia. We need to win. It's a must-win match for us. I probably should make a couple changes. 15's on a yellow, number 2's on a yellow. We're going to put number 6 in for 15. I'm also going to throw in number number six. It, it doesn't really. Mate. It has no, but they're all the same. It really doesn't matter. It's, I could just random. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm randomly selecting the players. Here we go then. That's the Russian team. It's over to you, lads. Come on, lads. I'm expecting a win today. Let's go with it. Let's put a bit of pressure on the players. Cavani's, they're hardworking. They, they thrive under pressure, I reckon. No need to change the tactics. It worked well against Croatia and Iceland. I just think Egypt... If we'd taken those chances early on, would have been fine. Here we go. Number 17 through early on in this match. And number 11 hits the post. We've already had a half chance. It's not going to be the same as the Egypt game, is it? Football manager, don't do that to me, please. Corner. Number 4. Edge of the box. It's knocked away easily. That's a good header. And here's number 11. The third striker on the left-hand side. Into number 8. This is nice play. Number six on the ball now. Fine, 16. We've got the pass into space instruction on. Here's 17. Number eight. Off the bar. Oh, the original Cavani did that against Egypt, and we've done it against Russia as well, but there's lots of highlights, which is encouraging. Five minutes in, it's crossed in deep. We've won a penalty. Who's going to fight over who takes this? <laughs> is, is it this number two? I did number the players to, to represent their number. And number two steps up and slots it home. He's been brilliant for us, the right back. I don't know why he, he took it, but he decided... He just I saw him running in there to take it. Maybe he's the fastest to the ball, and that's why he took it. Uh, but yeah, the original Cavani is number 21, just like in real life. And then every, everyone else is numbered, as they should be. Maslera is number one, and the other two goalkeepers, number 22 and 23. We've been dominant so far. Russia haven't had anything. Considering we've got a team of Cavani's, we only conceded one goal against Egypt. We haven't conceded a goal in the first half of this game. I thought it'd be the other way around. I thought we'd be scoring loads of goals and conceding loads of goals. We're solid. Keep it up, lads. Let's get on with it. Second half. We've played well so far. I'm leaving it on attacking. Corner to Russia. Crossed in. Uh-oh. Off the line by one of our subs. Number 18 clears it away. Does the Cavani's proud. And that's a great tackle. But it's Russia still in possession. We've knocked it out of play, though. Oh, the strikers. Look. 6.4, 6.4, 6.4. What is going on with them? They're being marked out the game, I reckon. I'm nervous now. We need to win this. We're only 1-0 up. And obviously, we could have a cock-up at the back. Number 14's gone off injured. One of our centre-backs. 
We'll, we'll bring on. Let's bring on twenty. Let's bring on twenty at the back. Oh no! Have I made? I've made all my subs. What? Oh, why did I make all my subs already? I'm a fool. Ugh. Right, 15, you're going at the back. We're playing two up front then, as a result. I'm going to go standard. Let's not pass into space or be more expressive. Right, let's go for that. Of course, I made two subs at half time. Why did I make two subs at half time? I didn't need to make two subs at half time. Either way, it's kind of just fizzling out this game. Is there going to be one opportunity for Russia to get an equaliser? This is like the Egypt game, but the other way around. Few seconds to go. Miss Lara knocks it up the pitch. How has this happened? I just thought it'd be five four in every game, and it's one nil. Two games, it's finished one nil. This just bizarre. Just, just doesn't make any. What was that pass? That is ridiculous. I think that was the original Cavani. He's let me down. He was fantastic in the friendlies, and he's just. What is he doing? That wait. I thought Cavani four number four got injured. Or was it the other one? Must have been someone else that got injured. I'm really confused now. Could have sworn it was number four. Must have been someone else. Here's Cavani, original Cavani. What is that finish? We've won, but I'm not happy. It was number 14 that got injured, not number four. Let's go for that. Let's not become complacent. That seems to have fired them up. They've got a good attitude, the Cavani's. The right mindset. It's time for the third and final group match then. We're taking on bottom place Saudi Arabia. We have to win this to go through. To guarantee us, us going through. Egypt currently top of the group after two wins. Uh, but they'll be taking on Russia today. Looks like we're going to go through in second place. But we might not have to face Spain. It's very close in Group B. Anyone can go through from there. Ah, we've already seen the result. In fact, Morocco have gone through. So Morocco, if we finish top of the group, we take on Morocco. That is an incentive. But we're going to have to beat Egypt and hope that Russia beat Egypt. Sorry, we're going to have to beat Saudi Arabia and hope that Russia beat Egypt by a relatively big scoreline, I suppose. Uh, Cavani number 14 is injured. I'm going to bring number 3 in. We'll make a couple more changes as well, I think. I'm nervous. I don't want to... I want to go to the knockout stages. I want this series to continue. Let's give the fans something to cheer. That's not really made them react, but I'll just speak to the positions individually. That's fired them up a bit. I'm sticking with the original Cavani in, in that striker position. He was great in the friendlies. I see no reason why he can't be great at the World Cup as well. I think I forgot to do opposition instructions. I'd better do that. Oh, no, I have. Wasn't paying attention to myself. Saudi Arabia with the first chance. Egypt are winning against Russia. So as it stands, we're through with one point. Uh, but I don't fancy taking on Spain. But I think we're going to have to, unless we can score a few goals against Saudi Arabia which is feasible but look at Saudi Arabia playing the ball around technically good side defensively shoddy at the real world cup of course but football managers a different game altogether they might put in a I don't know Juventus defensive performance against us good ball over the top original Cavani's through he has to score and he doesn't first clear cut chance football manager hates me today it's like I'm playing a different game to part one we were scoring every single chance. Today, I don't know what's happening. We have scored through a corner. Number three with a header. 18 on heading certainly helps with corners. And we finally managed to get a goal. But, okay, let's be positive now, Paul. No, no nothing to worry about. We're 1-0 up. Let's hope Russia can do us a favour and turn the game around against Egypt. That's pumped up the pitch. Number three, number five, sorry, in the ball. Nice ball into 11. It's back to number five. It's a nice play, just, just calming the game down now, relaxing into it a bit. Not Knocked over the top, but we've, we're still in possession. Here's eight. This is nice. Original Cavani can't finish. Two clear-cut chances he's missed. We've missed two half chances. Well, maybe the... I don't know if the corner was a half chance. Either way, original Cavani, you let me down at this World Cup. <laughs> that almost went in. That would have been comical. A number of players are playing in unfamiliar positions. I don't care. Go home, assistant. I don't need you. I should have made Cavani my assistant manager as well. Here's the original again. Oh, he's smashed it over the bar. It's not his day, is it? It's not his World Cup. It's just it's just not it's not doing it for us. I'm gonna to have to take him off again, I think. Twenty five minutes in. Doesn't really matter how many win we win by now because Russia are losing against Egypt. We're gonna finish second. Here's number 16, Cavani 17, Cavani to Cavani to Cavani. 
Oh, this is nice play down the left hand side. Whipped in. Original Cavani. That time he does score. He finally gets his World Cup goal. Persistence pays. That's kind of what he used to be like. You know, he'd eventually he'd have so many chances he'd eventually score. He's a lot more clinical than he used to be. But this was uh this was nice build up play. It's a good crossing with, with his weaker left foot from number five and good header. Two headers today. Two nil up. Comfortable. This is more like it. And we've not really been threatened at the back either. Maybe I've spoken too soon. Nope, we easily mop that up. Half an hour in, we're 2 0 up. We're going through to the knockout rounds. And probably going to take on Spain. As we make it three through Edison Cavani, number 11. And it's another assist from number two. I think I can rest some Cavani's now, can't I? Egypt 2, Russia 1. So it's. It's not over. Bit of a contrast to the real World Cup, isn't it? With Egypt going through top of the group. And, oh, that was another chance. Oh, it's 2-2, though. Egypt 2, Russia 2. Russia can do us a favour here if they can win this. If they can get another goal. Just over half an hour to go. We've won a penalty. And we're going to have to fight over who takes the penalty again. Is it 16? 16 this time. He's decided to take it for whatever reason. Can he stick it away? He, he doesn't. It's saved. Well, number 16, you're not going to be taking penalties again, are you, my friend? It's coming off for that. Disgraceful. Oh, number two on a 9.0. He's an absolute machine. Cavani is a natural right back, I've decided. Who needs Danny Alves when you've got Cavani to play right back? That's what you need. That's what they should be doing at PSG, playing Cavani at right back. Let's knocked up the pitch. Can we make it four? Number 10's through all by himself. He hits the post. Really unlucky. We've had five clear cut chances, six half chances. We should have scored more than three goals, really. But unfortunately, we haven't. It doesn't really matter. But it, I suppose that's encouraging. We're creating chances today. Have Russia managed to get a winning goal? They, ha they have. Wow. Does that mean we go through top? We do. Russia, thank you. That is unbelievable. It means we're going to take on Morocco in the next round, which is just wow. The football manager god smiled on me there. An 87th minute winner from Shatov. It does mean Egypt do go through still on goal difference, but we have gone through ahead of Egypt on goal difference. Three teams getting six points. We're taking on Morocco in the next round. That is really good. So part three. I'm going to basically play one match per part from now on. So we, we might, there's a chance we get, might get knocked out in the, the second round, of course. Uh, but we'll take on, in fact, I've, I'm confident we're going to beat Morocco. So we're going to play the second round and the quarter-final in part three. If we don't win against Morocco, then obviously we won't play the quarter-final. But that's what I'm going to do. But thank you for watching today's video. Please leave a like if you're enjoying this rather bizarre series. Until next time, enjoy FM18. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.